Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from a company called Halo. Uh, you probably have seen this uh, brand before on my channel and this particular watch is called Halo RS4 Plus. So the price for this watch is about 50 US dollars depending on when you're going to buy it so make sure you, you hit those sales whenever they are available on AliExpress. Um, I've purchased these from official Halo website, like the page on AliExpress, and I will make sure that I will leave a link down below. Now let's see what comes in the box. So clearly you've got the watch itself and the box itself. You've got a manual which comes in many different languages. And actually you can see the set of languages right on the front of the manual. And it also comes with a magnetic uh, charging cable. Straight away we can see that there is only two pins, meaning there is no data transfer available on this particular watch. Let's call it a fitness band, right? Fitness tracker. Because there is no um, data transfer, there is no microphone and there is no speaker. So therefore this is purely like a fitness tracker, but a really good one. So let's jump into that. So first of all, let's, let me throw a couple of figures at you. The screen size is 1.78 inch display with an AMOLED matrix. So therefore the colors you can see will be vibrant, the blacks will be black, fantastic. This screen actually uses 60 Hz refresh rate, so therefore it's actually very pleasant to look at and it's got a very smooth animation which you will witness in just a moment. The resolution of the screen is 368 pixels by 448 pixels and once again that shows, you know, it's, it's a fantastic screen to look at. The battery inside of this watch is 230 milliamp battery which will last easily with all the options turned on with a like always on display for a little bit I will explain it later on for a week or you can actually stretch it all the way to the 10, 10 day uh, period so that can actually last for a very long time from one charge only this watch comes with IP rating 68 meaning that dishwashing, shower even take it into a swimming pool would be absolutely fine because they are a fitness tracker after all. The watch comes with a updated version of Bluetooth, which is 5.1. So therefore all your data, all your messages, all your weather uh, announcement, everything will be coming through to your watch all the time without a miss. This watch uses application, which is called um, Halo Fun. We will be taking a look at it later on as well. And also because like I said, it's a fitness tracker, not really a smartwatch. It's very, very sport, orientated fitness tracker it's got 105 sport modes sport activities so you can track and trace absolutely every single physical activity you can think of and i will show you that later on as well so first of all let's have a quick look at the physical appearance of this watch first of all like i said it's an amoled screen so whenever you look at it you will you know you will be pleasantly surprised you know you're actually going to enjoy using this fitness tracker for a very long time because the colors are so bright the, the quality of the picture is so good it's, it's unbelievable there is no chin there is no forehead there are no like it's actually very well placed you know and the actual screen uh, ratio to body ratio is like it's actually stretched a lot and i will try to demonstrate to you that later on the body of the watch is all made out of metal it's a good quality metal as well so it doesn't really scratch that easily the rear of the watch, this is all made out of plastic, but it's a quality plastic. This is where you've got your magnetic charging uh, little dock. You've got your sensors. Sensors are very good. I'll talk about that in just a moment as well. And on the right side, you've got the only physical button just there. So first of all, as you probably noticed, the screen has been on all this time. So you have this option. Let me demonstrate to you. So for instance, if you scroll from top to bottom, you've got things like flashlight, you know, disturb mode, you've got your cinema mode and this blue icon which is turned on currently. So if I was to turn it off and turn it back on, this is where you've got your different options for your always on display. So for instance, once you activated your screen, um, you can choose between how many minutes your screen will stay on. So for instance, if I pop it onto 30 minutes, that now means that my screen would not turn off for the next 30 minutes. So that's quite useful. You've got your calendar. Uh, very classy, very clean, very easy to read, you know, it's just just really good um, thing there. You can search for your phone if you've lost it, you can change the brightness settings, so for instance mine is set to the maximum. You can also jump into the settings, but we'll do that in just a moment. Then if you scroll from left to right, doesn't really matter which way you go, you will enter your like quick access to your like um, achievements for the day, so for instance you'll see, first of all you'll see how many steps you've done, um, and also I believe you can scroll down and you can see different things, you can set targets, you can read some instructions as well. It's, it's, it's all really, really, really sort of sport 
orientated, if you know what I mean. So if we jump further, uh, you'll see your latest heart rate measurements. Then you've got your oxygen level as well. And you've got your sleep tracking. And although sleep tracking is not showing right now, because I haven't been wearing this watch for some, some days now actually, but um, whenever I did, it actually tracks your sleep records, like right literally like to the minute very accurate and it's really 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 reliable so that's very good as well and you back to your menu and if you scroll from bottom to top that gives you access to your text messages um, it I think it stores about 15 text messages at the time and obviously eventually it will actually delete those uh, but uh, the beauty of it is obviously you can you can you can read uh, for instance you can read the message you can delete it however you can't reply to those text messages you're gonna have to use your phone in order to um, to reply to someone now let's just admire the animation because uh, it's super smooth on this watch and I'm gonna show you how to access your main menu that's basically done by just pressing this button on the side just don't blink just watch the animation how cool was that and look how smoothly you can actually move the menu so there are three menu styles, that's very good. Um, I'll show you now. So for instance, if we jump into settings, we're gonna go to show and we're gonna go to view mode. So that was the list view. Let's go to waterfall mode. So the waterfall looks like this and you can scroll through. Some people will find it very easy to use. Um, I personally don't really like just, just to see in icons because I, I'd like, I like when the icon is there, but it's also duplicated with, with, you know, with, the, with the actual word. Uh, I find it easier to use it that way. And the third view mode is a beehive. And a beehive is basically like your Apple. So once again, just admire the animation. Just have a look at how smooth that is. I've, I mean, I've never seen a budget watch with such a smooth animation like this watch is. So in the main menu, you've got things like my watch faces. So for instance, you can change uh, you can change the different watch faces. You can you can also long press from the main screen. So for instance, you can go into more uh, classy watch faces. Obviously, there's about five or six watch faces available on the watch itself. However, if you jump into the app, which we will uh, take a look at later on, obviously there's more watch faces available there. And some of them will be actually interactive. So for instance, like this one with bubbles, you can actually pop those bubbles. I don't know really why would you want to do that, but it is there if you wanted to. And just, just watch how quickly, if you just press it ever so slightly, it allows you to change your watch faces. So it's really, really, really super fast, really good. So back to the main menu, you've got things like activities. So for instance, you can see your activities, you can scroll through, very interactive. You can read loads of like tons of stuff. You've got your heart rate sensor um, uh, information, sleep tracking. Uh, and then if you jump into the sports, because this is what this fitness track is all about, so go into sports, now you've got different options. So for instance, outdoor run, indoor run, walking, uh, cycling, indoor hiking, and all the, all the rest of it. Or if you click down the bottom to more options, now you've got sub menus. So for instance, you've got jogging. So let's just jump into that. But before that, I'm gonna show you what else you've got. You've got com combat sports. So for instance, you're fighting sports. So for instance, karate or jiu-jitsu or whatever it could be. Other exercises, you've got your dance, you've got your ball sports, so for instance, football, basketball, baseball, anything like that, snow sports. Let's just jump into the jogging and I'll show you what, what I'm on about. So for instance, you've got outdoor, indoor run, outdoor walk, indoor walk, and then you've got um, cross country run as well. And then if we go to, let's say winter sports, for instance, where was it? Snow sports, curling, indoor skating, outdoor skating, skiing, Ball sports, you've got cricket, table tennis, badminton, squash, football, basketball, volleyball, rugby, handball, softball, baseball, cricket, bowling, golf, tennis. Like I said, 105 sports available on this watch alone and more available within the app as well. It's, it's crazy, it's madness. Records, obviously, you'll, it's empty right now, but you, this is where you'll find all your like physical activities on the, all the rest of it. You can measure your stress, you can measure your temperature as well, because there is a temperature probe as well. You can do a breathing exercise, which is more elaborate than it usually is, so there's more breathing uh, available through that. You've got your weather app, which is classy, and it also shows you the weather for the next couple of days, which is fantastic. Music control is very simple, but very reliable. So play, pause, uh, skip tracks, and you can control the uh, um, volume as well calendar that's something I've shown you lots of people ask me a lot of people actually ask me is there a calculator available within the watch yes there is look at this very clean very simple to use very classy as well amazingly done I think it's fantastic 
stopwatch and time i'm not going to show you those they, those are really good as well but the the beauty of this watch is that there is like a multitasking available so i can set up a timer for instance for something that i'm cooking right now and i can exit this screen and i can go and do whatever i want on this watch but the timer will be working in the background which is fantastic you can set the alarm clock from here as well you don't have to go into the app and if you jump into the settings you can see things like um, you can you can you can change things like for instance your heart rate uh, measurement preferences so for instance once in five minutes once a day once whatever you can do everything within the watch itself you don't have to jump into the um, app all the time and at the end you simply can just like things like you can do restart power off your watch and all the rest of it so fantastic what we'll do now is we'll go and jump into the um, halo fun app I'll show you what you can do in there and I'll show you the watch faces available there as well. Then we're going to come back and we're going to summarize today's video for you guys. Right now, let's quickly jump into Halo Fun app. Uh, that's what the first page looks like. Uh, very simplistic. It tells you, you know, your activities, your goals achieved for today. Um, also, it shows you how much uh, battery percentage you've got left in your, in your watch as well. And then if you scroll down, usually like I said, I haven't I haven't worn this watch for quite some time, but usually you would have lots of data uh, sort of shooting at you, things like, you know, sleeping records for the past night as well, uh, step count, uh, calorie burned, you know, uh, heart rate measurements and all those, your current weight, like every single thing will be shown on this page so you can quickly access this information. So on the second page, you've got your physical activities. So for instance, you can you can scroll through like running, walking and outdoor cycling. So for instance, if we go for a run and we hit that run button, obviously this activates your GPS mode. It activates your um, tracking, your time count, your heart rate and all the rest of it. So once you're done with your physical activity, just stop that. And it will take uh, it will take the measurement. Obviously, you need to run for a little bit longer than three seconds. Um, on the last page, you've got your once again it shows you watch connected. So if we jump into that, this is your watch face gallery. So if I click on that, and I'll show you every single watch face. I'm just going to scroll through very uh, slowly so you can have a look at the watch faces available and decide for yourself whether that's something which would be suitable for you. It has been expanding, so the library has been expanding. And like I said, there are some interactive watch faces available so you can actually interact with the watch face. And there are more like classy watch faces or, or minimalistic watch faces available. And hopefully library will be expanding a bit more in the future, but at the minute that's what you get. Then if we scroll further, you've got things like health monitoring so you can enable uh, heart rate monitor sensor or night blood oxygen detection as well. You can activate or deactivate these things. You can sync your weather to uh, see the weather updates. You can um, turn on the incoming phone calls, um, like alert will be shown on your screen. And also your, um, like for instance, if you sit for too long, for 60 minutes or longer, the watch will remind you to actually stand up and do a couple of activities. For instance, just take a short walk or something like that. And then that's pretty much it. The only thing I would say is that if we go back in here, uh, you can set your targets. So for instance, how many steps you want to do per day, how many calories you want to burn and how long you want to do the physical activities. So for instance, that could be uh, a good addition to your current dietary requirements or whatever. So now that you had a chance to actually have a look at the Halo Fun app and I've talked about this particular watch and I've shown you how the menu works and everything else, I'm absolutely blown away for how much it is for how good it is for how amazing it is in in person when you look at this particular fitness tracker it's so good now the primarily competitors to this particular fitness tracker would be things like um, Xiaomi Mi Band 7 and probably like an owner band 7 which is probably out by now I would bank all my money on this because the screen is amazing it's, it's bigger it's bigger than the competition the animation is smoother than the competition. The, uh, the actual look of the watch is better, in my opinion, because they actually look more like a watch rather than a fitness tracker. So really, guys, it's a no brainer. This is a fantastic product and I can't stress enough how, how happy I am with this particular product. And I'm actually going to be buying two more for my family, for my wife and my son because they were so amazed by these products as well. Like I said, it's just, just a sheer animation. It just, just looks fantastic. It looks so smooth for, for the price. 
I wouldn't really worry about you know buying anything else because like I said if you don't need the if you don't need a speaker if you don't need a microphone if you're not gonna be if you're not intending to actually having a conversation over the watch which is weird in the first place anyway then this is fantastic uh, that's what it looks like on the wrist so perfect for men perfect for woman woman actually a good size for a child as well you know I had my son wearing this for a little while so he was quite happy about that as well so fantastic product thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for subscribing thank you very much for all your comments and your loyalty to this channel I really appreciate all of it and I'll see you guys in the next video